वेलकम टू मनी टाइम विद मनी नाइन दिस इज मी श्रेष्ठा तिवारी लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट व्हाट मेड इट बिग टुडे फर्स्ट अप इज आईसीआईसीआई बैंक इंक्रीजेस एफटी इंटरेस्ट रेट्स ऑन डिपॉजिट्स फ्रॉम रुपीस टू करोड़ टू रुपीस फाइव करोड़ द सेकंड लार्जेस्ट प्राइवेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया द आईसीआईसीआई बैंक हैज इंक्रीज द इंटरेस्ट रेट्स ऑफ फिक्स डिपॉजिट्स फ्रॉम इमीडिएट इफेक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द न्यू इंटरेस्ट रेट स्लैब कस्टमर्स विल गेट 4.35 percent rate of interest on one year FDs. Earlier, this rate was 4.30 percent. ICICI Bank has increased interest rate from 4.30 percent to 4.35 percent on FDs maturing between 390 days to less than 15 months. The interest rate on deposits maturing in 15 months to less than 18 months was 4.40 percent earlier, but it will now be 4.45 percent. What's more? The private sector lender is giving the highest interest rate of 4.80 on FDs with tenure of five years, one day to ten years. For fixed deposits of two crores to five crore rupees, senior citizens will get the same interest rate as regular citizens, unlike in the case of deposits with less than two crore rupees balance. Over to some updates on two wheelers that have been on fire for quite some time now electric vehicles launch put on hold following the incidents of fire the government has asked electric vehicle manufacturers not to launch any new models the government has already set up a committee to probe the circumstances that have led to the fire incidents the committee has also been asked to suggest remedial measures the government had ordered a probe last month after an e scooter launched by ola's electric mobility arm caught fire in pune Recently the road transport and highways minister Nitin Gadkari had said during an event that safety is the highest priority for the government and there can be no compromise with human lives Gold demand plunges 18% year on year to 135.5 tons in quarter 1 calendar year 2022 India's gold demand declined 18% to 135.5 tons in the first 3 months of this year mainly due to a sharp rise in prices according to World Gold Council's report the gold demand trends quarter 1 2022 India's gold demand has declined 18% to 135.5 tons in the first 3 months of 2022 mainly due to a sharp rise in prices gold demand was 165.8 tons in quarter 1 calendar year 2021 According to WGC's regional CEO Soma Sundaram gold prices in the country shot up 8% year on year to 45434 rupees per 10 grams in quarter 1 calendar year 2022 The report also mentions that the total jewelry demand in the country during the March quarter had fallen to 26% to 94.2 tons. It was at 126.5 tons in the same period last year. Meanwhile, gold prices fell by 113 rupees to 51,000 and 86 rupees per 10 grams on Thursday. On to some news on insurance people buying more policies from private general insurers than public counterparts says Irda according to the insurance regulator the Irda people are buying more general insurance policies from private general insurers than their public counterparts this is evident from the fact that in financial year 2022 the private general insurance companies have seen their premium income rise by 14% while their public counterparts have seen the premium income rise only by 5% in the same period the overall general insurance industry has seen the gross domestic premium income rise by 11% in fiscal year 2022 The IRDA said in a report that with increase in awareness of medical insurance and uptick in economic activity the insurance industry is beginning to see rise in the premium income. The report also mentions that insurers saw steep rise in claims related to covid in fiscal year 2022 as covid related claims constituted for 11 to 12% of total number of health claims paid in fiscal year 2022. The COVID related claims constituted only 6% of total number health claims paid in fiscal year 2021. Quick update on gadgets, Samsung Galaxy M53 5G goes on sale. The South Korean based electronics manufacturer Samsung has put the Samsung Galaxy M53 5G on sale from Thursday after its launch last week. The price of the basic version of the model has been set at 26,499 rupees. 
while the price of its second variant which comes with 8 GB RAM and 128 GB storage has been set at 28,499 rupees. However, ICICI Bank customers can get both the smartphones at a discount of 2,500 rupees. The smartphones are available in deep ocean blue and mystic green hues. The Samsung Galaxy M53 5G has a 6.7 inch full HD display with 108 megapixel primary camera and a 32 megapixel front-facing camera. Campus Activewear IPO GMP reaches 105 rupees. The shares of Campus Activewear reached grey market premium of 105 rupees on Thursday. On Wednesday, the Campus Activewear IPO green market premium was at 100 rupees. Analysts have said that looking at the price with which campus's shares were trading in the grey market, it looks that the shares will list at a premium of 35% at the price of 397 rupees per share. The IPO price band was set at 278 to 292 rupees. Meanwhile, Campus IPO remained oversubscribed more than 50 times in the last day of its IPO. Qualified institutional buyers have gone highly bullish on the IPO oversubscribing the issue more than 150 times. Retail investors too didn't lag behind oversubscribing the issue more than seven times. The IPO closes on Thursday and aims to garner over 1,400 rupees from the stake sale. Vedanta to pay Rs 31.5 dividend per share, the board of mining company Vedanta approved interim dividend of Rs 31.5 per share for the financial year 2023. The record date for the purpose of payment of dividend is Monday, May 9, 2022. The mining major in a regulatory filing with the BSE said that Vedanta has consistent track record of rewarding its shareholders with strong dividend payout. Last year, they had paid dividend of 45 rupees per share, amounting to 16,728 crore rupees. Earlier, the mining major came out with quarter four fiscal year 2022 results reporting almost 10% year-on-year fall in consolidated net profit of the set quarter. Although the firm also reported highest ever quarterly EBITDA of 13,768 crore, up 51% year on year. It also saw its revenue rise by 41.14% to 39,342 crore rupees from 27,874 crore rupees in the year ago period. Bitjet, world's third largest crypto exchange launched in India. Now crypto traders in India can also buy and sell cryptocurrencies on the Bitjet, which is the world's third largest crypto exchange from derivatives point of view. Interesting thing is that Bitjet has launched its crypto exchange in India at such a time when other crypto exchanges are finding it difficult to do business in India. Some have even started to shift their base to other countries after Government of India implemented 30% tax on capital gains made on crypto transactions. However, Bidget's co-founder has said that they've received an overwhelming demand for support from India. India-based crypto traders exceed the population of several countries with over 10 crore users holding digital assets. Although crypto exchanges have constantly seen transactions plummeting since the start of the new financial year, it will be interesting to see how many new traders come up on the crypto exchange of Bidget. Both Nifty and Sensex rebound more than 1% benchmark stock indices. Sensex and Nifty rebounded to close over 1% higher on Thursday, propelled by buying in index majors, Reliance Industries, HUL and Infosys, along with an overall positive trend in global markets. The 30-share BSE benchmark jumped 701.67 points or 1.23% to end above 57,500 points. The NSE Nifty rallied 206.65 points or 1.21% to close way above 17,000 mark. HUL was the best performer on Sensex, rising 4.55%, followed by Asian Paints, which rose 3.18%. Power Grid 2 rose 2.79%. LNT, State Bank of India, Infosys, Axis Bank and Reliance Industries were among the major gainers in the Sensex pack. Global indices too mostly traded in green, while international oil benchmark Brent crude slipped 0.07% to US dollars 105.33 per barrel on Thursday. That's all on Money Time with Money9. Keep watching Money9.